So welcome to one of our instructional areas. Um, and we're still on the second floor, but I wanted to discuss this because um, this area right here is mirrored on each of our floors. And so taking you through this uh, pod or this bow tie as we reference it will give you a good, good idea of what our instructional areas will look like. Um, if you think about a bow tie, you think of the knot in the middle of the bow tie and then the ends of the bow tie. And that's what one of these pods looks like. There are two on the third floor, two on the second floor, and one on the first floor. And in the bow tie, you have 12 teachers housed here with nine classrooms, of which two are science labs. And the labs are joined by a prep room as well. As you can see from the colors around me, this is a color that's referenced as Guilford Green. We're on the second floor, so you have uh, more neutral colors as we, um, as we move throughout uh, this floor. As well, you'll see some of the walls on each side of me are, are indented. That's because the lockers for students are going to be housed inside the pods. There are no lockers in the main hallways on any of the three floors. All of the lo student lockers are located in the pods. So come on in and we'll take a look at one of the classrooms. All of our classrooms are really built to enhance uh, teaching and learning, and I think that you'll see that throughout this entire uh, tour, that, that, that they indeed have accomplished that, the architects and the builders as well. Behind me, these glass windows, again, lots of natural sunlight coming into our room. Uh, you have window guards both on the inside and the outside of the windows that will help harvest the sunlight. Um, and we have actually uh, photosensitive um, lighting in our classrooms so that when the candle light of the natural sunlight reaches a certain peak, it will uh, automatically dim or even shut off the lights in the classroom and we'll be feeding off of the natural sunlight. And that should do uh, wonders for our energy bill as well. In this room, you'll have uh, two interactive whiteboards. You will have a projector mounted in the ceiling that teachers will be able to use interactively with those whiteboards as well. We won't have any desks, student desks, in any of our classrooms. Instead, all of our furniture will be on casters. All of our furniture in our classrooms will be tables and different uh, uh, types and sizes of tables so that teachers can rearrange their room in any manner uh, that they wish. And it really affords to the flexibility uh, that really went into the thinking of building this high school so that teachers can be as flexible as possible in their classrooms and design their instructional areas to meet the needs of their students. And we're really excited about that. The, uh, the day of the old student desk is gone in this new Guilford High School. We just left one of the classrooms that, uh, in the bow tie, and I'm standing right now outside the, uh, the teacher workstation. And remember when I described what the bow tie or a pod um, looks like? That bow tie, you have the knot in the middle and then the, the fan of the bow tie. The fan of the bow tie are the instructional classrooms, and the middle of the bow tie, uh, where it's all tied together, is our teaching station. So behind me is an area where we'll have 12 teachers housed here. They'll have their own desks, they'll have their file cabinets, they'll have um, a nice storage space for their boots or their, their uh, coats or their hats as well. In this teaching space, they also have their own kitchenette. They will have a sink, they'll have a refrigerator, a microwave, and a dining area to eat. Also in this teaching area, they have a unisex restroom as well. So they'll pretty much be self-contained in this pod. And then outside the teacher um, work area is actually a wider hallway. If you remember when we entered this pod or this bow tie, I discussed the lockers that are on each side of the hallway. This particular um, hallway in this bow tie has no lockers, but it's a wide area because this will also be used for instructional uh, area, an instructional area for our teachers. So if we have teachers that are co-teaching side by side um, or collaborating with another teacher across the hallway, they can actually send students out here to work on projects or teachers can bring small groups of students out here. And this will be an interactive instructional area for our teachers and our students as well. We're on the third floor right now. We are going to visit a science classroom, but I'm in another bow tie. Again, this bow tie or this pod is similar to what's on the second floor and the bow tie uh, or the pod that's on the first floor as well. You have 12 teachers that are housed in this pod. You have nine instructional classrooms, of which two are science labs, and we're going to get into those in just a minute. Also, as you can see on both sides of me, the color is a darker blue because the palette for the third floor is sky tone. So you'll see sky tones throughout the entire third floor. And again, as we take our tour, lots of glass, lots of transparency um, for, our, for our teachers and for our students as well. 
And one thing I was remiss in not discussing on the second floor bow tie that I would like to just share with you, each bow tie or each pod also has a conference room for our teachers as well as a storage room. And uh, they're pretty much the same um, throughout the entire school for these bow ties. The only uh, curriculum areas that are not housed in a bow tie or a pod uh, will be music and art, PE and tech ed. And we'll be getting into those instructional areas um, soon. So let's take a look at one of the science labs in this bow tie. So we're on the third floor, in, uh, still in that same bow tie, and we're in a science lab right now. And as you can see, they're beginning right now to put the furniture into the, uh, the cabinetry into the science lab. And as I discussed with you before, um, in each of the pods you have nine classrooms, two of which are science labs, and the two labs are joined by a prep room. The prep room is directly behind me. The cabinetry is already going up in the prep room. And uh, come on with me, we'll go into the prep room and take a look at it. We're going to go ahead and move through this prep room into the, another science lab, but I just wanted to give you an opportunity to see the cabinetry is going up down the prep room. There'll be plumbing in here, a dishwasher uh, that we'll be using to uh, cleanse all our beakers and test tubes, etc. Um, there will be uh, all our lab equipment and, uh, and chemicals will be stored in this lab prep room and will be shared by our science teachers as well. So let's take a look at another uh, science lab. Our builders, O&G Fusco, are doing a great job in moving this building along. We really appreciate uh, uh, how conscientious they've been to be, uh, you know, really good partners with us and allow us to uh, bring you into this building. We're in that uh, science lab, and as you can see, cabinetry going up. They're just starting to hang the lights of the labs as well. All our science labs are much larger than what we presently have, and in fact, all our instructional areas uh, are much larger. Uh, there's close to 100,000 additional square feet of instructional space in this building as compared to our old building, and we're really excited about that.